Hello friends, welcome to Rosa YouTube channel, the only channel which is providing 100% free content for CAD preparation. Now we are into SSC, IVPS and Railway Recruitment Board examinations. I am Ganesh, I will teach you Quant and LRDA for upcoming examinations. Today we will discuss simplifications and approximations. As part of it, I have already covered how to find squares and cubes of any numbers in my previous video. Those who are not aware of it, please go to the playlist. Uh, there I have shared you many tricks as well. Yeah, simplifications and approximations. As part of it, we have already discussed how to find the squares of any numbers. We have discussed squares 1 to 30 and squares of any numbers. I have discussed many approaches, many approaches with which you can do square of any number in just 3 seconds. If you are not aware of it, just please go through of my previous video. You can watch over there. You can do any square, any square of any number with ease. Okay. Just uh, I have discussed many approaches over there. You follow whatever which is comfortable to you. You just follow that approach. Right. And uh, followed by cube of any number. I have uh, already discussed this as well. How to find cubes of any numbers. In this video, today I will discuss you like how to find square root of any number and cube root of any number. All right. Again, in square root of any number, I will be discussing how to find square root of a perfect square and non-perfect square and a non-perfect square followed by the cube roots. Right? Yeah. You have to remember, it is very simple. If in the question, if in the square root, for example, you were asked like uh, how to find a square root of 2301, 2301, uh, okay? It is ending with 1. In our question, in our question, it is ending with 1. If in our question it is ending with 1, either you will get 1 or 9 in the answer. Right? In the last unit digit, you will be getting either 1 or 9. If in our question, if it is ending with 4, then the unit digit will come as either 2 or 8. Okay? Again, these 2, we can select the 1 which is closer. I will be discussing that. Right? Okay? Similarly, for 6 as well, for 9 as well as, okay, for 5, it will be 5 only, for 0, it will be 0 only. Now we will discuss a small example. Okay. How to find square root of 2301. Okay. First step what you have to do is like you have to take last two digits. You have to take last two digits. What is the last two digits? It is 01. Okay. You have to cut this 01. Is ending it? 1. So as I have already told you if it is ending with 1 it might be either 1 or 9. The answer ending will be either 1 or 9. Okay. What is my second step? Yes, in my second step, I will take the remaining digits. Remaining digits. What is the remaining digit? 2, 3. It means 23. So, 23 comes in between uh, what perfect square? See, uh, 4 square is 16. 4 square is 16. 5 square is 25. So, it is between 16 and 25, right? 23 is between 16 and 25. So, my answer will be as it will be the least. I mean, like between 16 and 25, 23 is between 16 and 25, so it will be 4, it will be 4 and in my previous step I have already told you it might be either 1 or 9, so already this is fixed, 4 is my fixed, either it can be 41 or 49, how to decide, how to decide, which is the correct answer, either 41 or 49, yes, in my third step what I will be doing is like, see, what is the difference between 16 and 23? 7. What is the difference between 23 and 25? 2. So, which to which number it is closer? It is closer to down 1. So, what you have to do is like, you have to take the 49 down number. Right? Similarly, if we do other problem, you will be get average. Right? So, if you do other example, you will get a better idea. Remember, this is only for a perfect square. Perfect square number, right? Like 2, 3, if what you will be getting the other doubt, right? Yes, I will be uh, mentioning in the note. If, if 2, 3, 7, 8 are in unit digit, are in unit digit, are in unit digit, then it will not be a perfect square.
then it will not be a, a perfect square. Right. Hope you have understood. Now, I'll move on to second example, quickly. This is my second example. Square root of 9, 2, 1, 6. 9, 2, 1, 6. First step, yes, you all are aware. You have to first cut last two digits. It is ending with 6. As it is ending with 6, the answer might be either 4 or 6. It will end with 4 or 6. What is my second step? Second step is like, you have to take the remaining number. What is the remaining number? 92. 92 falls between? Yes. 92 falls between these two. 81 to 100. So, we have to take the least number. What is the least one? Out of these two, 9 square 81, 10 square 100. So, 9 square is the least one. So, 9. You have to take 9. Okay? And the uh, other digit you will be getting 94 or 96. Right? So, in the third step, which one? Which one is right? Either 94 or 96. Yes. What you have to take is like, I have told you, 81. How much you have to add uh, to get uh, 892? 81 plus 11. Yeah, here, what is the difference between 92 and 100? It is 8. So, which difference is less? Down 1. So, what is your answer? Down 1. That is 96. Right? If it is closer to, if it is closer to 81, for example, in my question, if it is like 83, then what will be my answer? Then it will be 94. Why? Because 83 is closer to 81. That means 9. So, 94 will be my answer. Okay? Fine? Yeah. We will model square root of 31684. Square root of 31684. You know, right? First step. It is ending with 4. If it is ending with 4 in the question, what will be my answer ending? Ending with either 2 or 8. Right? So, answer uh, might be ending with 2 or 8. Cut these last two digits. Remaining uh, remaining number is 316. 316 falls between? 316 falls between? Yes, it falls between 17 square and 18 square. 316 falls between 17 square and 18 square. Which is least uh, between the 17 square and 18 square? Yes, 17 square. So, you have to write 17 over here. Uh, the answer will end with either 2 or 8, right? So, 172 or 178. So, what is my third step? How to find which is the correct answer between these two? Yes, you have to, you have to subtract 316 from, that's a 289 from 316 and 324 from 316, which is closer. Like, if you add uh, 316, if you add 8 more, you will be getting 324. But for 289, you have to add around 28 numbers, right? Around like what? 16 plus 11. That is 27. So, which is closer? Down 1. So, that is, it is closer to 324. What you have to take? It is like 178. Answer is 178. Fine. Hope you have understood. Okay. We will be doing one more example. So, that you will get a better understanding. Square root of 38809. It is ending with 9. So, answer might be, my answer will be ending with either 3 or 7. 3 or 7. This is my first step. What is my second step? What is my second step? See, 388. 388 falls between? 388 falls between 19 square and 20 square. 90 square and 20 square. Which is least between these two? 19. So, 19 will be my first uh, part. What is my second part? Answer will be ending with 3 or 7. So, 193 or 197. Out of these two, which will be the my correct answer? Say 388. Uh, it is closer to which number? Either down 1 or up 1. Just check. 361. Uh, how many... Uh, how many... Like, like, see. What is the difference between 388 and 361? And it is closer to 27. 27. So, what is the difference between 388 and 400? It is 12. So, it is closer to which number? The down number. So, what will be my answer? 197. Down will be my answer. In this way, in this way you can find a square root of a, a perfect square number. Right? I will be discussing the other one also. Like the other one, what is the other one? The non-perfect square. How to do the uh, square root of a non-perfect square? 
which will be ending with 2, 3, 7, 8, x, etc. Right? It is a non perfect square. Right? See, first, I'll tell you the basic. How to do? Like, for example, A plus B. Suppose uh, you have a number X. Number X. It can be written as either A plus B or A minus B. Okay? You have to write A plus R minus B by 2 root A. This will be your this will be your a formula to find the square root of any non-perfect number. Okay, how to do? Yeah, I'll just take an example. 10. I'll take an example of 10. 10 can be written as 9 plus 1. 9 plus 1. You have to take, you have to take this first part such a way. It is a, a perfect square. First part should be a perfect square. Right? Okay. So here root 9, already I have written as 9 plus 1, right? So 10 I have written as 9 plus 1. The first part should be a perfect square. So I have written as 9, 9 is a perfect square. So 9 plus 1 by 2 root 9. Root 9 can be written as 3. 3 plus 1 by 2 into 3. That is 3 plus 1 by 6. That is 3.5. 166. Six. In this way, you can find a square root of any non-perfect number. Okay? We'll take another example. Square root of 12. I have told you, you have to write in such a way. Just, you have to make note of this. Just a way, such a way that the first part should be a no perfect square. Yes, it can be written as 9 plus 3 or or it can be written as 16 minus 4. Yes, the first two parts here. Here the first part is a perfect square. Here the first part is a perfect square. Either you can write an with an addition or a subtraction. Right? Though, so root 9 plus 3 by 2 root 9. Okay? So, it is a 3 plus 3 by 2 into 3. So, here you can cut this 3, 3. So, 3 plus half. That is 3.5. is your yeah. answer. Right? Similarly, if you do this also, you should get the same answer. Right? Root 16 minus 4 by 2 root 16. 4 minus 4 by 2 into 4. 4, four cancel. 4 minus half. That is 3.5. Right? Similarly, you can find square root of 93. Right? I have written as 100 minus 7. 100 plus... Sorry. You have to write over here minus minus 7 by 2 root 100. So this can be written as 10 minus 7 by 2 into 10. That is 20. 10 minus 7 by 20. This can be written as 100. See now we are into how to find a cube root of any number. Yes, right. If in a question, if in the question, if it is ending with 1, the answer will end with 1 only. If it is ending with 2, then it will be ending with 8. If it is ending with 3, it will end, the answer will end with 7. Just similarly, just few seconds back, I have told you the square, right? Of a perfect square. In a similar way. 
Okay, now we'll take, just take an example and uh, let's solve it. Cube root of 1728. What I've told you in the first step, it is ending with, it is ending with 8. Ending with 8. So what my answer will end with, that is 2. But here, in the square root, you have, you have, what you have to strike off? The last two digits. Here, you have to strike off last three digits. Last three digits. So, remaining one, you should check. You should check. It is between with, see, already it is one is one cube only, right? So, answer will be 12. Okay? I'll just take an example of other, so that you will, you will get better understanding, right? Uh, for example, cube root of, Cube root of 1124864. What is my first step? Yes. First you have to cut last three digits. Already you are aware that if it is ending with 4, your answer will end with 4. Right. So what is the remaining numbers? Uh, that is uh, 1124. Yeah, 1124 is your number. So it is between with, uh, with, between these two cubes. Right. 10 cube is 1000. 11 cube is 1331. Uh, I have already told you in my previous video how to find a cube root of any, sorry, how to find cubes of any number, right? So, with that, you can find the cube of any number, right? It will be on fingertips, just within 3 seconds, you will be solving that, right? So, 0024, it is between between 10 cube and 11 cube. So, your answer should be, your answer should be 10. So, 104 is the answer. Right, the same way, the same way you know, in just previous uh, few minutes back, whatever you have done, you have to take the least one, right? Similarly, similarly, to take an example, to take an example of this, Cube root of 658503. Okay. It is ending with 3. If it is ending with 3, answer your answer should end with 7. Okay. First step is completed. What is the second step? 658. 658 falls between 2 cubes. Which 2 cubes? You have to select. See. So, it is between 512 and 729. 658 is between 512 and 729. Okay. So, what you have to take is the least one. Uh, which is the least cube between these two? 8. So, uh, your answer will be 87. Then, see, because of this method, you are able to do in just 2 seconds. Then, right, other one, just try this. What is the cube root of 7, 4, 0, double, 8? Ending with 0, double, 8. Ending with 8. Ending with 8. Your answer should end with 2. 74. 74 falls between, falls between 64 and 125. So, your answer is 42. Then, right, this way, this way, you can find cube of any number. Right. Okay, friends, that's all for today. Hope you have liked this session. If you like this session, just please uh, like and uh, not only that, you just uh, pass on to your friends so that it will be beneficial to many as we are providing 100% free content and covering 100% free syllabus, right? So, that's all for today. Tomorrow, uh, we'll discuss the other topics along with the assignment as well. The only thing you have to do is from here and is like, we'll be uploading the videos. We have to practice it rigorously so that you can crack any exam. We are exploring many methods. We are exploring many methods. We have followed many books so that we are giving our best to you. You just practice it. You just grab it. You just practice it. It will be beneficial to you. Fine? That's all for today, guys. Thank you.